Johnny's space is one that has intrigued many for so long. It was once thought to be impossible, leaving many with questions and imaginations to what laid beyond the horizon. This never ended in three cases was finally brought to the halt with the invention of rockets, when the quest for knowledge led to the study of rocket science, where a scientist called Konstantin Sokowski played a major role in the derivation of the rocket equation. He postulated that the change in the velocity of an ascending rocket is equal to the effective exhaust velocity of the rocket multiplied by the logarithmic function of the initial total mass of that rocket to the dissipated mass of that rocket. It's simple. I'll be using a systematic annotation coupled with physics and applied mathematics to explain the equation. Here are the parameters I'll be using to prove the equation. Now, at each instance, Newton's second law is observed. We'll be taking momentum of the exhaust and the rockets. As we all know, in every closed system, linear momentum is conserved, which implies momentum of the rocket plus momentum of the exhaust equals zero. Now, substituting for each values, we make dv the subject of formula, which is dv equals to minus ve dm over m. Now, taking dv and minus ve as constants, we integrate the right hand side of the equation from the time of dissipation of the initial mass to the final mass retained. Resolving the above equation, we find the solution to the integral part. Now, substituting for each values of m, we have dv equals to minus ve in brackets lin mf minus lin mi. Now, recalling this of log reading, lin mf minus lin mi equals to lin mf over mi. Now, Replacing the natural logarithm into the equation, we have dv equals to minus ve lin mf my over mi. Taking the reciprocal of the logarithmic function of the equation, dv equals to ve lin mi over mf. There you have it. We successfully proven the Sokovsky rocket equation, which states the change in velocity equals to the exhaust velocity multiplied by the logarithmic function of the initial mass to the final mass. Momentarily, at each instance, force is applied to the rocket for it to ascend, and the Sokovsky equation is observed down to when it reaches the ground.